everybody welcome back to the homestead here today we are going to be working on getting some new areas for the animals put together um, we've got to move our sheep our little lambs up there <clears throat> they've been in this little area here now for a couple weeks and they have been just munching grass yeah, we're talking about you guys. But uh, we need to get them moved over to a new area. So we have lots of tall grass right there. And so we've kind of mowed around and we're gonna basically put some fencing in here and I'll have a whole new area to graze on. And then this area over here, we'll take our chickens, which I, you can probably see way back in the back there they are going to move into the sheep area and so they'll have a new area to kind of graze on and then we can take that that netting down on the other side there <clears throat> so we can be able to uh, drive a truck up into the old pig paddock area and we'll be able to get some of the trees that we bucked up uh, back in December after that big storm I'm sure you guys remember that. If not, you can certainly go back and watch the video uh, where we kind of document a little bit of that destruction that happened. But anyway, so today the goal is to get all the T-posts pulled from up here and over in the pig paddock over there. Um, get all the unused T-posts over there and then we're gonna start putting them up over here and creating another area. We're gonna actually take a hot wire from this post and then take it all, take it across to the side, that side there and then start going up along the uh, kind of natural like bramble line there and then up and along the property line so that we can uh, create multiple paddocks over here uh, for moving lambs and also uh, moving meat chickens. Now it's all about rotating animals, creating more space, and uh, making room for new arrivals. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab a sled so I can uh, put the T-posts in there and then start pulling T-posts. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we're up here in the upper, the old pig area and I'm sure you can't exactly tell but we have uh, planted a lot of squash and pumpkins and watermelon uh, up here in this old pig area so that we can grow some food for ourselves and the pigs. But right, we'll go ahead and get these T-posts loaded. All right, I'm gonna start taking them all down along here and back over there.
right. Well, <clears throat> that is all the T-posts for this upper paddock up here. So I think we got enough in there that we can do what we need to do. I mean, can you really ever have enough T-posts? Uh, it seems like we're always finding places that we need T-posts or uses for them for fencing and stuff. So trying to uh, reuse them and move them around as we can uh, works for us because it saves us some money of having to buy T-posts every time we want to build a fence or make move animals like these lambs who <clears throat> You guys are really getting into those lower tree branches. Those, those lammies, they love leaved branches, trees, whatever it is. They've been munching on grass for a couple weeks and I think they're wanting a little variety. But anyway, T-post done. We'll bring them on down so we have them ready when we start our fencing project over there. All right, on to the next project. Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. We got uh, a few fun projects today. We gotta, we uh, gotta move. We've talked about this, uh, I think on one of the previous videos, but our chickens over here are gonna move into this paddock where the sheep were. And the sheep are gonna move over to this side. We're gonna build them a paddock over here so that they have some fresh grass to uh, graze on and that'll give a chance for, it'll give us a chance to rotate our animals because uh, it's important that they don't stay in one place for too long um, just because the parasite load can go up um, also when they're pooping in there it can get pretty gross so we try to move them around so they're not constantly um, walking around in kind of a really yucky area but the way to do that is to rotate so this morning uh, Gloria and I have started we went ahead and put up some T posts you can see her out there um, we went ahead and put up some T posts to kind of form the goes along our property line here and we're taking it kind of down to the woods here. We'll duck under the fence. And what we're doing is we're stringing this um, aluminum wire or steel wire, I should say. I think it's it's one of them, but anyway, it's electrical fence wire. We run the, this wire um, kind of as a transmission line and then we connect off of it. Uh, whenever we put uh, poultry netting up, we can just clip to that top wire and make a fence hot. So, the easiest way to do that is just kind of run a metal wire along the top and take that all the way down. So you can kind of see here, we're coming up here. And we go right along here up to the tree line right there because that is the edge of the property right there 
and then obviously it goes all the way up into our upper kind of upper pasture area that we will eventually we're hoping that all of this up here along with this down here is all pasture going all the way back and you can kind of see the tree line back there it's kind of about the halfway point for our property going back but yeah getting this set up is going to be huge for allowing us to rotate animals and have a place so that everybody can kind of get a rotation in on the new pasture area all right babe it looks like you have a nap yeah i do all right so. No, don't get caught on those sticker bushes. Yeah. Just want to get this done. And then it's just tedious. I don't want to cut my hand on the wheel or the wire. Yeah. I'll set you up here. Okay. I'm almost. Can, you want me to? Yeah. I think there's only a couple left. Alright, alright. No. Just like this. When you get to the other one, let me know. Because that's the last one. Right there. And I've got to get it. Uh-uh. Nope. So, yeah, the main hot wire is now up. We've got a lot of other wire to put on, but this is the beginning of getting our property fenced. We eventually want to take this line here and take it all the way up, all the way around the whole property. That's probably a million T-posts. <laughs> So, but um, it will be a lot of people. But it's a good, it's a great start, and I'm super happy about it. Uh, we'll get the lambs up here, and they'll enjoy. It's just a massive log. firewood. Yeah, lots of firewood. Bonfires. Anyway, we have so many things that we've got to get done now, but this is a great start. The rest of this will be us stringing up the other wire uh, so that we can use this exterior part without the netting. And we'll just take it all the way there around this and then we can just attach the netting to the hot wire and the lambs will stay in. They'll get fresh grass and um, we can rotate the chickens and do other farming around things that we've got to do. Having the hot wire up on that back side over there is really a big deal because I do want to take it up considerably this year because we need to use the pigs to make pasture down here. So we've got bonfires and pigs to move and everybody has to be hot. Yes, indeed. Those lammies, although I think they've, 
figured out that when there's fencing up, not to touch it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they've matured since last year. Oh, last year was a bear. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna call this a wrap. We're gonna probably be out here um, today and tomorrow putting up the rest of the wire. Um, and then uh, we'll move the lammies over when it's all ready for them. But as of right now, we could probably just attach the netting to um, the hot wire and bring the lammies over before we even put the rest of the wire up. But we got our work cut out for us. It's gonna be good. Talk to you guys later. Bye.